Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Okay, I am excited. I'm always excited, but I'm a little bit more excited than I normally am because I've got the first of the Lego Friends summer season sets. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of alliteration. I don't think, think it's all just gonna go downhill from here. So this is the first one. This is the Lego Friends Jungle Rescue Base. And it has got dun, 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 648 pieces, which it's a big box, but it's not the biggest box of the season. So there are bigger sets still to build. Woo, this is very exciting. Now, I'm actually going to put the price in some different countries up on the site because you guys have been asking me how much these sets are that I'm building. And we all have different currencies depending upon where we are in the world. So the price is different. I've put up the US dollars, the UK dollars and the Australian dollars. I'm going to put a little poll up. So if you want to put in what country you live in, it'll be an anonymous poll. And then I can put some more numbers on that side so you can see how much it'll cost wherever you live. Now, we've got four bags in here. I can see some elephants. <laughs> this is very, very cool. Four bags uh, and bags of extraneous stuff. So the big things that don't that aren't, aren't actually clear. There's a roller coaster track. Whoa, what are we gonna use that for? And the, a random piece of pamphlet stuff. Legoland, kids go free with paid adult ticket there's a discount code down the bottom okay that's gonna do me no good whatsoever because there's no way I'm gonna be going to Legoland there's no Legolands here in Australia so anyone want that discount code go for it now there are two bags labeled one so we're gonna have to open both of them first and let's check out the instructions just make sure there's nothing different going on in here the stickers are pretty oh I really really like the sleeping bag stickers we've got little log stickers okay and so with stickers check we've got Got two books and I think we're ready we've got everything we need so there are three mini dolls that come with this set but we're just gonna meet them as they come in their respective bags so the first bag has got Andrea in it wearing some really really shiny boots there's no holding this girl back even if she's out in the jungle getting <laughs> monkey poop on her boots she doesn't care they still have to be shiny got a brand new top there's a lot going on with this top there's a little pouch on a high belt and I love turning it around to see some printing on the back though I'm not quite certain what's going on here <laughs> it's like a how many layers has she got on here I don't know what's happening the pink bits her little neck kerchief at least <laughs> and her head and her hair nothing new about them which is good because then we can identify this character very easily as Andrea and she is ready to go jungling I'm always curious about where these girls actually live because they can just duck out in the back forest and find tiger cubs that's random <laughs> but Mm, apparently that's how it works. She has got, uh, yeah, so she's got a walkie-talkie with a heart on it, a, a coral heart, coral coloured heart, and she also has a bucket. This is the next part in the instructions, a random bucket, and I hate putting bucket handles on. It is the bane of my existence because they just keep popping off, a bit like Andrea's hair just keeps popping off. But anyway, she's got a walkie-talkie, she's got a bucket, she's ready, but are you ready because the slots? Oh, look at his new face! Oh, the sloth face! <laughs> if I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I bought this just for the sloths. No, and because I wanted to build it. But look, okay, so there's an anti-stud for the sloth's butt. So he's going to be able to stick onto your Lego studs, which is good. He's got the cutest little pink feet. <laughs> and he's got little hanging arms. In fact... Let's just investigate all the places that this sloth can hang. Look at that. He can hang off the mini doll's arm. Pretty sure that's not how he's designed. Like he wasn't, I, I, I don't know what's intentional. Can he hug them? Wouldn't it be like so cool if he could hug them or they could hold him like a baby? That that would be inappropriate because he's a wild animal, but I think it's really cute that he can hang off their arms. Oh, but we might need to like plant Andrea on an actual Lego base plate to hold her steady. Actually, if we put the walkie talkie down, that makes, there, look, see now she was too forward heavy before. All right, I will get back to my sloth love later because there are elephants in this set. A massive blue elephant with a pink, well, pink heart cut out this. Be able to hold things in her trunk. I'm gonna assume that she's a her. The unusual color of the elephant kind of duplos her up for me, but she's she is very cute, but she's very cartoony cute. We're gonna be able to attach her very firmly onto a base plate. She's got some studs on the top and a little hole, little pinhole on the top that we could, I don't know, put a spout out of or something, but she's also got a little baby two different shapes of animals so they could have just taken this big elephant and made it 
miniature, but they made a completely different shape, which is so cute. Look, the trunk can kind of attach to the tail, kind of. There's another pinhole in that trunk, so we're going to be able to put some things in the baby elephant's trunk. The baby elephant is purple, so if the mum is blue, uh, would that have meant like the dad would have to be red <laughs> and i don't think the elephants should ride each other but there are studs up there so why wouldn't they i think it's just asking for it to happen in fact in fact i see it i see an opportunity for a sloth ride here <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what would be cuter is if we could detach the sloth to the tail or maybe, okay, I don't think we're going to be able to hold the sloth on, maybe on the ears, <gasps> on the baby elephant. Oh my goodness, a, ba a sloth riding a baby elephant. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit on properly. Maybe we could hang him from, oh, he hangs from the trunk. Oh, but forward heavy now. I mean, this is just like a ride. It's a fun ride for the sloth. Okay, this is ridiculously fun. I'm, getting, I'm hyperventilating a little bit. <laughs> How insanely cute this is. I'll, I'll put a little stud on top of the stud on the baby elephant's back later and we'll, we'll get sloth riding happening. Let's get on with the actual building. So, well, it's not building yet. So in this crate, we have got some Elephant fodder, we've got one apple, it's not going to last them very far. A little bit of green, and we put another green in the elephant's trunk. So we'll put the big mummy elephant's trunk in there to uh, to feast while we get on with the building. <laughs> Only took us yeah, quite some time. Now this is a new colour flower. We have not seen this flower shape with the five petals in this light yellow, in this lovely yellow before. We've had kind of the orange colour. So it's really cool to have a new colour arriving this season and now... Now we get some log prints, the log stickers, and I suspect that these are going to be the seats for the girls or for the animals, whatever you choose. It's really up to you how you use this and how you display the characters and how you play with it later. But this is a little eating area with a whole pizza. A <laughs> whole pizza up here getting cold. And we've got a couple of cups. It's going to get very cold by the time we get to the end of the build. We might set some people up to actually eat that. That sloth is crazy cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. Back to the building, focus. Okay, so this is gonna be some sort of vehicle, which I didn't expect, though I should have expected it. Most of these big builds have a kind of a little runabout vehicle. And you know what gives away the fact that it's a vehicle is the fact it has four axes. Axes? Axles. I don't know what I'm looking at here. <gasps> this is new too, I think, having this, this um, tile piece with a jumper stud in the coral color. I think, I think that is new and useful because we've got lots of these coral color pieces turning up. It's nice because we can match them then. And have you got any sets like in person? Have you noticed how vibrant this coral is in real life compared to in the video? It's madness. Okay, we've got a baby's bottle here for probably for feeding the sloth and a fire extinguisher, which is not for feeding the sloth. <laughs> Oh, the elephant. So the fire extinguisher I think is important. Let's see if I can actually attach Andrea's arms. I can. Good. This is a functional, functional vehicle. And the sloth can ride along on the back because it's perfect spot for it. So that's where he is going. And we need some wheels. So otherwise they're not going to go anywhere at all. Okay. A little kind of scootery four-wheel drivey kind of thing. I keep trying to find places that I can hang the sloth from. <laughs> there are so many. He's just hangable from everywhere. <laughs> I want to hang him from my bed head. He's just so cute. Now, apparently, according to the instructions or the picture, the bucket is for the elephant, which is good because that makes me hate the bucket handle a little bit less because it just stays stuck there in the elephant. Okay, we've got another one of these quarter a quarter green piece is another beautiful yellow flower. I shouldn't get so excited. There are quite a few in this set, but they make me so happy. They make me smile. It's such a sunshiny shade of yellow. What are we building here? We've got a lot of brown going on, uh, which kind of, are you shouting tree? It's a tree, Ellie, obviously, because it's brown and the shape is very tree-like and you would be correct. This is definitely a tree. There are all sorts of, ah, oh, the hangy place for the sloth though. His, bar, his butt sticks forward. He's kind of forward heavy. Does he hang upside down? No, he doesn't. That would have been a really unexpected treat. That would have been so cute. <laughs> so that's where the sloth is supposed to be hanging from, but they don't tend to hang like that. And down here we've got a fire going on, just a little tiny campfire and a hook for, oh, for cooking. Oh, oh, a black sausage. This sausage has been cooking here for some time. I wonder who was in charge of looking after that sausage. <laughs> Maybe it was the sloth's turn to keep an eye on the campfire. Okay, we've got some foliage with the pink coral flowers on it. 
reckon we can... <gasps> Look at that! Oh, I think he's so... He doesn't go upside down. That just... I have to try, but it just doesn't work. He, you can sit him upright properly, like facing forward. When he's hanging from the, the palm leaf, that is just so cute. That's where I think his natural hideout should be. Okay, we've got some technique pins going through here, which is really cool. It means we're going to have some sort of moving part. Is this for the sloth? No, it's too wide. Uh, okay, more, mm, more technique pieces, and we've got a... It's a fire! It's a fire! Back here... Oh, this is cool! Okay, so we'll put the sloth back on the branch so we can find out how this scene is supposed to play out. And this goes here. There's a little... <gasps> when you push this, the fly... Oh, the flyer! The flames! The flyer! They pop up! I'm just too excited! I can't even put words. Words <laughs> defeating me, but look at that! So it's suddenly on fire! So clever, just a couple of moving technique parts, and that's what the fire extinguisher is for. Not to put out the burnt sausage, but to put out the tree that possibly came from that campfire. And, and yeah, and, and the sloth would be in trouble. That's adorable. That's a really, really great little mini build, because we haven't even started on the actual, like, the jungle rescue base. But it, now the sloth needs rescuing, though, so we'd probably better start on the jungle base. This looks like we are starting uh, the building, uh, uh, a building. Um, so this might be the first part of our jungle rescue base. I just like saying that. Uh, these look like, these definitely, it looks like we are making some beds. It's bedtimes. Beds are always important. And here we get to put on those sleeping bag stickers, which I love. I love this, I don't know what you call that shape, the pointy rounded over shape. But I also love the fact that these aren't really, um girl exclusive do you know what I mean like they're not catered particularly for Andrea or Olivia or Mia and they're ones that you could sleeping bags you could use in any situation you could use them for the Disney princesses you could use them for your Lego city they're absolutely they'll work in any of those situations so that's cool we've got a little bedside table in between the beds and we're just putting ah, a little lamp a little red lamp some poles up it's all very very nature-esque with lots and lots of brown so that it blends in nicely with nature and here we've got the mint color the last one i think that's my favorite that's so pretty where on earth is that going oh look at that it's layered over the top they're bunk beds and there is just enough room <laughs> andrea is not going to want to sit up in bed but that's fine they're not here for comfort they're here for sleeping <laughs> so she's just got enough room to tuck in there and now she's got all the railings around. I like the fact there are little studs on those railings because oh, we put a lantern on one and we put uh, some light green leaves up here. And that makes extra support there for the purple roof tiles or our, our, our angled roof that we're putting on here. That's nice. Okay, so this is like a little mini build. We can put all the animals in here because we've got no other girls to put in here yet because they don't turn up till the other bags. And these are the extra pieces because we're at the end of bag one. We've got an extra flame, an extra burnt sausage, which is also good for making lamps. Let's put this in. Speaking of lamps, we have just made a baby elephant lamp. Perfect. All right, extra pieces need to go away because we are up to bag number two. Two, and this bag has got Mia in it. So once again, brand new pants. Her top, so we've, I reckon, I'm pretty sure, hmm, that design on it, we've seen that before, I'm sure, without the, it, now it's kind of like a zip up sleeveless thing. Look at the patterns here. They're starting to be able to kind of line them up, the prints on the back with the prints on the side, kind of. It's getting, it's better than last season, like in the beginning of the year. So it's, yeah, it's good. It's very, very exciting to see all these prints happening. So we've got Mia now, she is ready, and we, we've got a whole bag of all the medical stuff, which we've seen in lots and lots of sets before. Really hard to open these bags. Don't understand why, because all the other bags are easy to open. Why can't I open these bags? I don't get it. So let's see, she gets the nurse's cap or the doctor's cap, just so we knew she's doing the doctoring. And she gets a clipboard with an x-ray of the baby elephant. Seriously, they can have x-ray equipment here. Oh, look at that, coral heart. Oh, these coral heart pieces are the hearts of elephants. No, that's just wrong. I'm gonna move on from that because that's not what is actually happening here. Let's move all that other medical equipment apart because we've got another sloth. Two sloths, look, you need to hang on a clipboard and the other sloth has now got a friend. Sloth 1 and Sloth 2, like Thing 1 and Thing 2. <laughs> they are identical. You can stack them. I cannot believe that they're stackable. <laughs> oh, 
other sloths. I loved them. And this is the bag that the elephants are actually supposed to appear in. So the elephant doesn't get a flame in her trunk. Of course she gets a water spout so she can water the sloths or just water anybody. We've got a spare flower so I thought that that would be a great way to have a sloth ride the baby elephant. <laughs> I love these animals. Okay, must focus away from the elephants away from the sloth babies right we need a, one of these big pieces here from our our random piece bag of all the big pieces we need a big watery plate base plate and we are getting started on the actual rescue base so we've got some put those in the wrong spot we've got some really nice subsidiary bills and now it's time for the actual main event and this is a big sticker with a what is that is that like a toilet back like a toilet seat and the I think it is that's toilet <laughs> ah, yes all right first thing very important get a toilet in this building people because when people gotta go that's wrong uh, that all has to go forward one brick hmm. okay so when people gotta go they gotta go so you've got to have the toilet ready to go extra toilet paper nice and assuming that's a plunger because we've already got a flusher for the toilet on the sticker itself now we just need a modesty door and i can see that that's going to happen here with our hooks on the front and it's oh it's a perfect so this the sloth is very sturdy in fact you could stick this if you put another stud up here you could stick the sloth on the toilet <laughs> and he'd be really sturdy there but he's actually sitting on that toilet more steadily than the mini dolls do i think it's <laughs> i think he's perfect <laughs> sloth perfection okay so the toilet is in the trunk of a tree which is crazy and i love it and now we get our modesty shutters for the door and the sloth just peeking over the top there i just spun this around the sloth's still sitting upright and i put the wrong i needed a smaller piece here must concentrate stop getting distracted by sloths and oh these are opalescent so they got a little shimmer a bit of a yeah like even could you call them holographic is that like oh, I don't know and I've put the wrong wedge here it's supposed to be the dark gray one so I'm not doing so well with light gray and dark gray today which is a bit worrying got an eggshell here which is actually a flower with pretty sure we don't have these flowers in the light pink yet either so I think that's new pretty okay we are heading up our substantial tree and continuing to fill it out and here we got like a white and a red that is very random they're obviously going to be hidden and they're <laughs> they're just sticking out like sore thumbs up there at the moment but i'm sure we won't see them soon down here we got a nice big green patch ah oh, just behind 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 i think this is behind maybe it's the front i think this is the front i think the toilet is at the back yes it is the front because the stairs is that right yep yeah, i put everything in the right spot stairs are leading up to what's gonna be our first platform on our jungle rescue base and got some alternating pink smooth parts in the middle of the steps and that's looking dandy. <laughs> it says looking dandy. That sloth. Look at him. He just hangs from all the things. Okay. All right. I'm exhausted. And we're halfway through this build. You know we're stopping for a break. There's going to be part two coming up very, very soon. So you got to subscribe and click the notification bell. That way you actually find out. Like you get dinged when new things come up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the build so far. And I'll be back with more sloths. More sloths. Actually, there are no more sloths in this set. There are only the two, but <laughs> is two enough? Is two's never enough. Okay, I've gone sloth crazy. I can't even say sloths anymore. They're sloths now. Okay, I must go. <laughs> Bye.